Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. A mass spring system oscillates vertically with the time period of t at the surface of the earth. So it is oscillating vertically. The gravitational field strength at the mass is 0.3 g. What is the period of the same mass spring system on the surface of the mass? Okay. So first of all, my dear students, so what is happening here is this, this system is vertical. And uh, we are interested in the time period. So now we know that the time period for the spring is given by 2 pi root of m by k. This is the formula you can see from the data booklet also. So t is equal to 2 pi root of m by k. And there is no variable which talks about the acceleration due to gravity. It means whether if you take the spring mass system on moon or Mars on the earth, the time period is not going to change. So as per the horizontal spring is concerned, we are damn sure about this thing that the time period would be same. But now they have given the vertical spring. And now we have to think like, uh, is there any difference now? I believe there is no difference even then, but let us see. Now you see, this is the spring constant K and this is the mass M. So what is actually happening when the spring is vertical? When the spring is vertical, there is a one force which is acting like M into G and the other force is K into X. So from here, we find that KX is equal to MG. So X is equal to MG by K. So we are still not talking about the SHM. We're still not talking about the simple harmonic motion. We are only talking about the new equilibrium position that is created by the mass spring system. So it means that there was a mean position there. This is the mean position for the horizontal. But when it was it went vertical, it fell by a certain distance and it is now having a new equilibrium position. Earlier, the equilibrium position was this, the mean position was this. But as soon as it is left, it is now achieving a new equilibrium position. That's it. That is the only difference. So now the mean position is a little farther away from the uh, from this point. Nothing more than that. And after that, there is a force, then there is a spring, and then you push it around, and then you leave it. Again, it is now moving with the SHM motion. The formula for the time period remains the same. It would be 2 pi root of m by k. There is no g even now, and hence the answer will come out to be equal to c, and so the answer is c. So my dear students, this is the explanation for this question. This is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the best.